Hello everyone, this is Dr. Marrero from Math Topics. Welcome to this video today that is about the Pascal Triangle. But it's a, a little known application of Pascal Triangle. Uh, maybe you know it, maybe not, but if you like it, just watch the video all the way to the end and you will see this relation. Because I know the Pascal Triangle contains many, many patterns, um, but today I'm going to combine Pascal Triangle with application of mathematics in real life, specifically in medicine, how to find combination of drugs. So let's start now. We have three pieces of information here. We have the Pascal Triangle. Um, we have the definition of combinations. Uh, also, we have the formula for combinations. By the way, if you are interested in watching a video about combinations and how to use the formula, find that in, in, in our channel, Math Topics. And recently, we I uploaded this a video about combinations and the difference between combinations and permutations. So we have the formula for combinations and we have a real life scenario. And this is something that I recommend teachers to do to put in only one image, in only one presentation, the three elements or different elements, the mathematical elements and the real life, and then make a connection with them. Because that's a reason of having a teaching, an effective teaching of mathematics. If we can combine real life and mathematics and the students can make sense that what they're learning is useful. Okay, let's read the real life problem. Frequently, doctors experiment with combinations of new drugs to combat hard-to-treat illnesses such as AIDS and hepatitis. Assume that a, phar a pharmaceutical company has developed five antibiotics for and four immune system stimulators. In how many ways can we choose a program consisting of three antibiotics and two immune system stimulators to treat a, a disease. Use Pascal Triangle to speed your computation. I know that this is a combination problem because we don't have any, any requirement. So we have the freedom to pick three antibiotics from a group of five. When the order doesn't matter, we use combination. And also, we have the freedom to pick two uh, immune system stimulators from a group of four. So this is combination. If I can use a calculator immediately, I can find this super easy. So I have five um, antibiotics, and I'm going to pick three of them. The answer is 10. So I have 10 combinations. Um, then if I have four stimulators and I have to pick two of them, I have six possible combinations. And then um, I can multiply 10 times 6. And I have 60 possible ways that meet that requirement. Uh, three antibiotics from a group of five and two immune stimulators from a group of four, 60. But what is the relation here with the Pascal Triangle? That's what is next. You can use a Pascal Triangle for f to find the number of combinations. Okay, look at the row number two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Let let's pick row number two. And I want to show you how the numbers in row number two generates combinations. So I'm going to pick the calculator here and remember that this is row number two. So we are going to use combination of two from two elements to pick zero, from two elements to pick one, and from two elements to pick two elements. So zero elements, one element, and two elements. We cannot pick more because we have only two elements. So let's visualize this. So we are going to pick from a group of two, zero elements. We're going to pick only one element. We're going to pick two elements. 
and let's see how the number of combinations matches the numbers in row number two. So let's use a calculator here. So you go here to combinations and we are going to pick, remember, from a group of two, we are going to pick zero. The answer is one. From a group of two, we are going to pick only one element. How many combinations? Two combinations. For a group of two, we are going to pick two elements. So one, two, and one. Okay? That's a number of combinations. So one, two, and one. And that, those are the elements of row number two. So let me repeat the relation between the combinations and the numbers in, on, in, on each row of the Pascal triangle. Number of combinations, number of the group is two. For row number two, we, have, we can pick zero, we can pick one, or we can pick two. That's it. If we apply the formula for combination and we use a calculator, we notice that the combinations with those characteristics generates the numbers in row number two. Let's try row, row number three. Are we going to pick zero? We're going to pick one from three. We're going to pick two from three. And we're going to pick three from three. And now we I know the answer must be one, three, three, and one. But let's prove it with a calculator. So let's go back to the calculator right here. And I'm gonna use the combination. Three, zero. Answer is one. Three, two. Answer is three. Uh, three, one. I forget three, one. So three, one. It's three. And three, three. The answer is one. So look at the numbers right here. One, three, three, one. Of course, remember that I, I kept the order. But the answer is three zero one three one three three two three and three three is one. Go back here. I'm gonna check. It's one three three one. One three three one. One three three one. Look at the another powerful relation from the Pascal triangle. And now we have the uh, real life problem. And what is a real life problem? Five and antibiotics, and we're going to pick three. So five, and I have to go to this row here. This is five, zero. This is five, one. This is five, two. This is five, three. That's why the answer was 10 initially. 10. And the uh, immune stimulators is from four, two. So we had to go to row number four. This is four, zero. This is four, one. This is four, two. Six combinations. And now the counting principle, fundamental counting principle, we multiply 10 times six and we get 60 ways. This is the beauty of mathematics. And remember what the problem says at the end. The problem says, use Pascal Triangle to speed up your competition. If you note know that, that those numbers in every row are related with combinations, and you have an easy problem with easy combinations, five to pick three and four to pick two, and you know the Pascal Triangle, or you can visualize row number four and row number five, and you know the relation with the combinations, you don't need to apply the formula. You don't need to use a calculator. I know, you're gonna tell me the calculator is faster. Yes, but I don't want only 
you to see and a small window of mathematics. I want you to see the beauty of mathematics. You expand your view and see the relations and see and see that beauty. I have a video here about the fundamental counting principle that I invite you to to check. Um, this is what I have for today. I let me summarize uh, combinations and Pascal triangles. Every element, every element, every row here gen is com combined with combinations. It's related with combinations. Remember to start with two zero, two one, two and two, three zero, three one, three two, three three, four zero, four one, four two, four three, four four, five zero, five one. Five two five three five four five five and so on. Don't forget to subscribe, give us a like, share this. This is mathematics. This is math topics. See you in the next video. Mm -hmm.